Hello some viewers, how are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, today we are going to discuss how to handle API in JavaScript. You might have seen fetch API in one of my previous videos of await and async and enclosures too. But we didn't go in depth fetching the API response but in this video guys we will go in depth and we'll see how the how to fetch the data from an API and how we can extract the data in JSON response now as you can see on the screen we have check Norris this is one of the free API free JSON API we can hit this API and we can get the response. The JSON response will look like this. And these are the key values. The value will give the check Norris job for each and everything. We can see the basic response for this API. I'm going to use the fetch method, but it will write a sync function function and let fetch response and I'll open the bracket close bracket here we will get the data by using await we will wait for the response since the response might take for a while we will use fetch method here we have to give this URL here we have to give this API sorry this API which is a get method so we'll use a fetch for this we have to fetch then this API response so I'm going to use uh, response in json format format will be get data to json and i want to return this response json format now since uh, we are using async and await, since we are using async and await, so async will always return a promise as we have seen in the previous video. So the fetch response, the fetch response will use dot dead then method. In this dot then method, we'll pass a function which takes the parameter data we will do a console log of this particular data which is coming from this API right let us uh, reload the page Now we got the data, we got the response from check Norris. You can see here it resembles the example response with icon URL value etc. Icon URL ID value etc. So what if I don't want the entire response? What if I want only this value? So what will I do? I will do this dot value I'll save it I'll reload the page now so the, the value comes with the check knowledge joke but this uh, looks pretty vague so let me just write the joke and it is picking some random values so I wouldn't mind if I reload this so see the joke is 
Paul Newman has Chuck Norris on Salah trusting and mine. So this is how we can get the response from any API. So I'll get this. I'll write this. Uh, I'll write this as a simple fetch API of Chuck Norris. In real time, guys, the response will not be this much smaller. It will be huge. The JSON response will come in MBs, maybe in uh, some of the times it will be in gigabytes, sometimes it will be in megabytes. But in check notice, you can see the sample API response is very less. We have got one more API. In my previous um, video, we have, would have seen this. So GitHub users, these all API responses, we can get it. GitHub uses API response. This is also the free to use API. Let us try to extract this response. And this is this is kind of a real time scenario where we can see uh, the response will be huge. And you might have to loop into the response to get the desired value. What if I want the id not the id just a login name and the url of this user so this this might become the real time example so i will take i will comment this above everything first let me copy this i'll paste it here and I'll comment this entire function. Now, let me comment it here as GitHub users. So it will be the same fetch response. Now, we cannot directly say data.val. First, just let me type data dot length i don't i don't know how much how many users are available so number of users are and i will be giving this api Let me reload this page. So the number of users are 30. So in real life, what will happen? We have to do, we have to take a loop and we have to run a loop that uses and then equal to zero. And I'll, I'm just running a for loop so that uh, we can type each and every user URL and ID. URL and ID, right? So let me check back the response. I just want, I just want login and URL. Okay. The user, user less than the bracket close bracket. And now here I'll print. I don't want this for now, but I'll take this value. Here, let me print login value of the yet. So I'm just giving the ith value. So i yeah, uh, that user length value. So the user length value will be zero here. So zero user. So let me make it zero plus one. Let me make so zero plus one the user name so data of 
users dot length dot dot login so i'll get the login results of i'll get the value from this i'll copy the same one i'll paste it here so here i need the url of that particular user the url is and after each and every loop executes i want a separation so that i can understand what is how what is going on and it is a typing based on the users so i'll just give a uh, equal line let me write it properly first user Now let me execute this. So, so I think thirty would have got printed. The login value, the first username is Jumbo. So again, I have to give proper space. Reload it. So it has typed from first the login value of the username is Majumbo and the URL is this. So it is getting the direct uh, value, it got the response, but login will be the username and URL will be the URL of the particular user. We got like this and separation is here. Maybe if I can slow, slow it down, maybe. So now it looks a little bit of um, in, in a proper syntax, proper format. See, the login of the first user is this, and the URL is this, second user is this, and the URL, and so on, till all the users. So this is one of the minimum scenario where we can find using APIs how to fetch the data, how to fetch a particular data in the entire response so this is one of the example to use loops and check norris was a simple example where the json response was very very short and very small and we got the value straight away but but in this in this scenario the response was different we got the huge response of 30 users we tried to extract this well instead of login value i'll write your value here let me execute this so now this will be proper readable format and this i'll put the code in the description so that uh, you guys can have a crack at it so that's it for the video guys if you like the video please click on like if you're a new viewer please click on subscribe till then take care have a great day bye bye